G'day everybody, Nick Dinger here again for another Construct 2 tutorial. We're still making Super Mario Bros. We're up to video 14 and I'm going to tell you how to make the pipes. So, we're going to do a two-parter unfortunately for this one. I'm sorry, it's going to be a pretty long one unfortunately. And I'm going to split it into the graphical and object side of things and then the event sheet side of things. So, let's start this video by explaining how they're going to work. So let's scroll across to these bad boys here. Because these pipes are pretty prevalent in the Mario, Mario series. What I'm going to do is this is going to be the pipe we go down, we're going to go to our secret room, and then this is the one that we're going to pop out of. Okay, now to achieve all of this graphically, we need our two tile sets. We need this guy here, which is the level tile set, because he provides the collision data. So Mario is going to be able to run into the side of these pipes, jump on top of these pipes, things like that. But we also need our good old overlay pipe. So if I grab this overlay tile map and drag it down, You'll see I've got these from the last video. I erased this guy earlier because I realized I don't actually need it. And the reason we have the overlay pipes is because the level layer appears underneath Mario. That means if we grab Mario, let's say standing on this pipe and wanting to go down, if he goes down this pipe, that means that Mario is going to physically be grabbed and moved down and he's going to appear in front of that pipe. So then we add the overlay, which is above Mario, okay, over the top, and what happens then is Mario appears behind the overlay, okay? And it includes no collision data, so we don't have to worry about that. So when Mario appears behind the pipe, it looks like he's going down into the pipe, whereas really we're just grabbing Mario and tearing him down ways, or down woods. Okay, so that's how it works graphically, and the actual room that Mario goes to is going to have to be at the end of the level. Now you notice that already, I haven't added anything since the last video, but the level's looking a little bit short for a Mario level. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to stretch out this level a lot. So first of all, the width. Let's set this bad boy to 5,000. And you'll see we've got a hell of a lot more level to play with now. And we can put the secret room right at the end so Mario never sees it. Okay. The next thing is we need to change the size of our tile maps. All three of them, unfortunately. So the overlay tile map, his width is going to be 5,000. Okay, let's turn him off so we can click on the level tile map to 5,000. Turn him off, we'll click on the background, 5,000. Now, if you find that 5,000 isn't enough, just increase that number. Seriously, it's not going to do any damage. Okay, Whoop, I'll turn the items, I'll turn the enemies off, I'll turn the overlay back on. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we are going to set up the objects and we're going to set up the room that we want, okay, for these levels. So first things first, people, is I want you to go to your projects. We're going to go down to object types and we're going to create three objects. Now, these three objects are going to be pipe entry, pipe exit, and pipe camera. And I'm going to explain them as I create them, okay? So let's create a new folder right here. Call it pipes. Now, this isn't going to obviously contain the graphics for our pipes, just these objects I mentioned. So right click on pipes, insert a new object, it, they're all going to be sprites, so you can just select, whoop, go away, oh my god, go away. Okay, pipe entry, insert, just click anywhere, and we're going to change every single pipe to 16 by 16, the width and the height, and we're going to fill them in a different color each. The first one, the pipe entry, I'm going to make dark blue, alright, just like so, and make sure when you create them, they're on the level layer. Okay, and you're pretty much good to go. The other thing we have to do for this guy, besides putting him in place, is create some instance variables for him. Okay, now these instance variables are going to be really awkward to start with, and I'm going to explain them as we go. The first one's called the pipe exit UID with under. Oh my god, I can't type today. It's going to be a number, and the idea is it's the UID of the pipe of the pipe exit Mario will go to. So Mario is going to go down this entry point and then Mario is going to pop out at whatever exit you specify for this instance variable. We're going to create a pipe camera UID. It's going to be a number. The camera to all oh, the UID of the camera to use when exiting the pipe. Okay, it's a bit more awkward, and we'll explain that in a lot more detail when we get to programming. And then we have pipe 
direction. This is literally just, and it's a number as well, the direction that Mario moves when he enters this pipe. So there's different ways that Mario can enter a pipe. He can go down it, he can go to the right and so forth. And what I'm going to do is we're going to have the values 0 to 3 to indicate which direction he moves. 0 is going to be down. 1 is going to be right. The reason I do it in that order is because they're the two that are most common. 2 is going to be up. 3 is going to be left. Okay. If you don't like those numbers, you can change them. You can use whatever numbers you want. If you'd like 0 to be up, 1 to be left, or whatever like that. Just make sure you remember which one's which. Okay. And finally, I'm going to have another one called camera disable, boolean type, set to false, and it indicates if we want to disable the main camera after exiting. Okay, sounds a bit awkward, but the idea is when we go down the pipe, if we go to a secret room, like a little room where the camera doesn't move, then we need to make sure this camera disable takes care of that. Okay, so with those four created, okay, you'll see the descriptions down the bottom there if you ever get confused or forget how they work. And I'm going to place this guy there, resize him to about that. So he covers the whole entry of this pipe. And so what that's going to indicate, the pipe entry indicates if we can enter the pipe at all, and it checks if Mario's standing on the right spot to be able to go down the pipe. Okay, so pipe entry is pretty straightforward. And then these variables kick into gear when Mario presses the down button and, yeah, goes to the exit, sets up the camera, and moves him in the correct direction. Okay, and then after he comes out, whether or not we disable the main camera. So, we've made the entry, let's make the exit. Sprite, pipe, exit. Same thing as before, it's going to be 16 by 16. I'm going to color this guy red, like so. And we only want one instance variable on this guy, and it's just pipe direction. Just how the last one worked, 0 means Mario's going to move down, 1 equals Mario's going to move right, 2 is up, 3 is left. Okay? So this is when Mario... Let me put this in place first, and I'll turn off the overlay layer. When Mario exits the pipe, so let's say he goes down this one, so he's going to start there and move his way down. Okay, then he's going to appear here and then move his way up out of the pipe. So what I'd do is I'd set his direction to 2. So he moves upwards. Okay, and his direction would be 0, so he moves downwards. Alright, so that's how the pipe direction is going to work and the entry and the exit link together. And we obviously do a lot of coding to get that to work. Now, the UID, for instance, every object has a unique ID, which indicates exactly what it is. So for instance, I don't have... Oh, I turned my enemies off, didn't I? Duh. Okay, so I have two Goombas here. They're exactly the same. They've got the same code, but their UID is slightly different to make them unique, all right? Because everything needs some kind of unique identifier. So what I'm going to do, we might have multiple exits and we might have multiple entries. So we need some way of indicating this entry is linked to this exit. And the way we do that is say, this is the UID of pipe exit, 30. So on the entry, you simply type 30. And that will link these two guys together and no other exits will come into play. All right, And that's how those two works. And the same thing with the camera. But we need to make the camera first, so let's do that. Let's go to Projects, make a new sprite, call it Pipe Camera. I'll explain how this guy works in just a moment. 16 by 16. And I like this guy to be orangey, just like so. And there is my orange. All right. So that there, and it's a bit awkward. First of all, his UID is 31. So let's type it into here. Okay. So this awesome pipe is going to go down and then pop out there. We're going to fix that up in a moment. It's just an example. The pipe camera tells the main camera where to be when we exit this pipe. Okay. So Mario goes down this pipe. And when he goes to the secret room, we need to know where the camera is going to be. So this is what indicates where to move the camera to. And now, even if we disable the main camera, we still put the main camera where the pipe camera is initially. Okay? If the main camera is still enabled, then it can move around afterwards. Okay? But we need to know where the camera is going to be when he comes out of the pipe. And we should probably put him down... Is that right? 104? Okay, I can't click on him. He must be on a lower layer. 
But yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 104 on the Y is about middle of the level. Okay, so those are the three objects that we actually are going to use to stitch our pipes together to make them work. Now, I'm not going to do any programming in this video, but what we are going to do is set up our secret room ready to go and so we can program in the next video. So I'm going to scroll right to the end. And the first thing I'm going to do is color this thing in black. And on the screen, there are 16 to 17 tiles at a time. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to grab the background tile map. Just click on it there. I should probably just disable the level one, and that's probably easier. We're going to grab the black square down there. Okay, and then we're just going to grab the square tool. One, two, is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Bang. And that's going to be the background. Okay, we can't color in that piece, so I'll do an extra one there. Because that's a little bit. It's not square. Okay, so that's going to be the background of our secret room. So I want the level tile map now. So that's the level one, beautiful. And we're going to use this block and we're going to draw the outline of the room. Just like so. And then I'm just going to take a stab at that being where the coins sit on top of. Alright, and then we finally need the pipes, okay? Now the pipe on the right hand side here, Mario is going to be able to jump on and move around. So we need some collision with this guy. And we're going to use that pipe right there, you can see. Bonk. And that's going to be the pipe. Now I want a pipe here on the top left where Mario can exit. So I'm going to turn this around. And that's going to be Mario's bloop, exit. Finally, we need to do a little bit more here. We're going to turn on the overlay. And we're going to do the exact same thing for the pipes. So I'm going to turn... Well, no, I won't turn the level one off yet. Okay, I'm just going to grab my pencil, make sure we've got one there, turn it, we've got one there. So to make sure I've got it in the right place, I'm just going to turn the level layer off. Okay, and you can see, since nothing changes, we're switching between the level and the overlay layer. Just to express what I'm doing, you can see I've drawn them twice in the exact same spot. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is the level layer actually needs a couple of black blocks just here. And the reason, well, the tile map, I should say. The reason is, is because when Mario goes inside this pipe, okay, his feet are going to be showing. Okay, and if you put some black stuff in the background, it sort of fixes it up a little bit. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. After all that, <laughs> I'm not going to do it at all. The reason I'm not going to do it is because I fixed it with some code. So don't stress. That's something I originally did, but I fixed it up. Okay, so the next stage is we need to put our entries and our exits set up, and that'll bring us to the end of the video. So we've got the entry set up, and we've got the exit and the camera here. So I'm going to grab these guys and cut them, and I'm going to paste them over here. Monk. The camera needs to go as close to the middle of the level as you possibly can muster. And that's about it there. And the exit needs to go right at the top like that. Okay. So with them set up, because they're going to have the same UIDs, I don't need to change the entry point, but I'm going to create an entry just here. Okay, so we're going to resize him, put him about there. That's fine. And then we need to create an exit all the way over here. So let's create an exit just here. Check his UID, 33. Put the camera here. Check his UID, 34. 33 and 34, don't forget. So his exit's 33 and the camera's 34. And his direction will be 1, because he's going to go into the right. This guy's direction needs to be 0. And finally, we need to make sure this is set to 2. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. We're actually going to do the programming for the pipes. We're good to go, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.